I'm going to be showing you how to make these three delicious candy corn inspired Halloween treats. If you like my videos, let me know by giving me a big thumbs up, commenting below and of course subscribe to All About Aoife if you haven't already. Now let's get started on these easy treats. And welcome back to my channel all about Aoife. I'm Aoife and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these three easy candy corn inspired treats. It's Halloween! Happy Halloween guys! So to celebrate I thought I would make something that is kind of iconic and very Halloween-y and every time I see it all I think about is Halloween. It is of course candy corn. Now we don't have candy corn here in Ireland, I've, at least I don't think you can get it. I've never tried it. Apparently it's like an American thing and you either you love it or you hate it. So someday I'm definitely going to get to try it. If you've tried it before then let me know, comment below, let me know if you like it or not. But don't worry if you don't because there's no candy corn actually in these recipes. They're just candy corn inspired. I've got all the colours in there. I've got cupcakes, I've got a caramel mud cake and I've got a delicious milkshake. So let's get started on these easy treats. First up, I'm going to start off with my delicious cupcake. This is a really simple recipe. You cannot go wrong with this one. If you're a beginner baker, you're going to love this. It's a simple vanilla cupcake topped with a marshmallow frosting, which is so tasty. I've also used that frosting on my caramel mud cake. So let's get started on our cupcake. Okay, so to begin, I have a simple vanilla cupcake recipe in my bowl here. And I'm just going to whiz all the ingredients together with my electric mixer until they're all combined. Now that all of my ingredients have combined, I like to turn my mixer up to a higher speed for a further minute to incorporate air into the batter and make the cupcakes nice and light and fluffy. So now that I've finished dividing my mixtures evenly, I'm ready to add my food colouring. I have my orange and my yellow, I'm going to add a little at a time until I get the desired colour. So to begin I'm going to start with my yellow cupcake batter and just line the bottom of each cupcake case with a little bit of the yellow. You want to flatten it down as you're filling each so you get a nice flat layer ready for your orange batter to go on top. Now that I've finished with my yellow I'm ready to go in with my orange batter. I'm using a teaspoon and adding a little at a time. I'm going to make sure that it doesn't all sit in the centre but I'm going to push it out to the edges with the back of the teaspoon and make a nice even layer of the orange. So now that I've finished filling my cupcake cases, they're ready to go into the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 15 to 20 minutes. You'll know they're done when you insert a skewer and it comes out nice and clean. So when my cupcakes have come out of the oven, I've just placed them on a wire rack to cool completely. And when they've cooled, I've transferred them to a plate and removed the cupcake cases. We can see the delicious yellow on the bottom and the orange on the top. And now all we need is some white to complete our candy corn effect. To finish the cupcakes, I've made some delicious white marshmallow frosting. It's a really, really easy recipe and I'll leave everything in the description below. Next up, I'm going to be showing you how to make this delicious milkshake. Look how good this looks. And of course, I've topped it with a candy corn cupcake because why not? You need all the treats at Halloween. Of course, if you're going to trick or treat, then you got to get a cupcake on top of there to make it really fantastic. So let's get started on that. Thank you. 
guys, so finally my last candy corn inspired treat. It is my caramel mud cake tray bake. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Um, caramel mud bake tray bake, caramel mud bake tray bake, caramel mud bake tray bake. <laughs> so yeah, it's a bit of a tongue twister, but it is super delicious. The caramel mud cake is so moist. Caramel does remind me of Halloween, you know, the Halloweeny flavors with caramel dipped apples and just kind of like caramel everywhere Halloween time, I think. So yeah, I've, I've decided to do a caramel cake in a tray so that you can serve loads of people at once. I've topped it with the same marshmallow frosting as my cupcakes, but this time I've coloured some with yellow, some with orange. I've swirled it around to create a lovely candy corn effect on top of the cake. And it will go with all of your other treats. So let's get started on that. In this pan I have 200 grams of white chocolate, 250 grams of butter and 300 grams of lightly packed brown sugar. To this I'm going to add half a cup of golden syrup and 320 ml of milk. I'm just going to heat all the ingredients on the pan until they're all melted and combined and then I'm going to transfer them to a large bowl to cool completely before I add my dry ingredients. I'm just gonna stir this over a low heat now until all the ingredients have come together. It may not look great at this stage, but trust me, it's gonna taste amazing when it's baked and finished. Now that all the ingredients have melted down and combined together, I'm ready to transfer the mixture to a large bowl to cool. So now that my wet ingredients have cooled down completely, I'm ready to add my flour. I have 300 grams of self-raising flour here in a bowl. I'm gonna add that to my cooled wet mixture along with two eggs. I'm going to whisk it all together and then add it into my tray ready to bake. So I've just lined the tray here with some parchment paper and now I'm ready to add my cake mixture to it. So now that we've added our cake batter to our line tray, it's ready to go into the oven at 150 degrees Celsius for about an hour. You'll know the cake is done when you insert a skewer and it comes out nice and clean. So to finish our caramel mud cake, I've just trimmed the top with the knife to make it nice and even for our icing. I'm just using the same icing as I used for the candy corn cupcakes. Instead of using just white though, I've colored one third yellow, one third orange and left one third white. To finish the candy corn caramel cake, I'm going to use a knife and make sure that all the cake is covered and swirl the icing once more and create a lovely kind of tie-dye effect on top of the cake. They are my three easy candy corn inspired Halloween treats. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video today. If you have, then make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below and of course subscribe to All of Eve if you haven't already. I'm gonna get tucked into, I don't know what, I think I'll go for the caramel butt slice. It looks so delicious. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon. Happy Halloween.